now let's just extend that question a bit the same one uh, number of relation uh, number of attributes in the relation are equal to a1 a2 so on an okay and uh, candidate keys are actually two so one candidate key is a1 and the other candidate key is a2 a3 okay just in case in place of uh, a2 i kept a2 a3 okay now how to do this the same way find out all the super keys which are possible only because of a1 right so find out all the super keys which are possible because of a1 which means this one might contain even a2 and a3 but i don't care about them so what i want to see is a1 is definitely included in that so in this definitely a2 and a3 will also be included okay plus number of super keys which are possible because of a2 a3 which means a2 a3 should definitely be present and a1 uh, might be present or it may not be present here also a1 is definitely present and a2 a3 they may be present or may not be present i don't want to focus on them right and now minus uh, since here i might have counted all the possibilities where a1 has come and a2 a3 has come and here also i have counted all the possibilities where a2 a3 has come and again a1 has come so i have to i counted that uh, possibilities two times so i am going to remove it one time so minus super key of a1 a2 a3 which means are containing all those three right now how many super keys are possible containing a1 uh, so since it has to contain a1 you can remove a1 then how many attributes are remaining n minus 1 attributes therefore the number of super keys is 2 power n minus 1 what about this a2 a3 are definitely present right and then how many are remaining so n minus 2 are remaining right therefore 2 power n minus 2 what about this a1 a2 a3 are definitely present right and how many are remaining 3 n minus 3 so for all those n minus 3 2 power n minus 3 got it so this is the answer now let's say let's just extend this uh, this way see is it possible that candidate key be a1 here and a1 a2 here is this possible candidate keys it is never possible because if a1 is the candidate key right then a1 a2 cannot be a candidate key a1 a2 will be a super key the reason is if a1 itself is a candidate key adding one more thing you cannot call it as a candidate key we already know that candidate key is the minimal super key which means from which we cannot be able to de you know delete anything and still make it a candidate or a key isn't it but from here you will still be able to delete a2 and you will be able to get uh, you know candidate key uh, therefore this is not a candidate key if a1 is a candidate key any superset is going to be super key right now let us say the other combination is i have a1 a2 here as candidate key and a3 a4 here as candidate key now i want to find out uh, you know number of super keys which are possible you know with this uh, condition now how to do it again the same way find out all the super keys which are possible because of a1 a2 which means i want to find out all the super keys in which a1 a2 will definitely be present right and then uh, find out all the super keys in which a3 a4 will definitely be present right and from these two already here i might have counted one time the set of all super keys which are containing a1 a2 a3 a4 here i have counted once here also i might have counted a1 a2 a3 a4 once therefore you have counted it two times but then you have to count it only one time right so you subtract them once then what is it minus number of super keys possible with all those four so what are those four a1 a2 a3 a4 right how many super keys are possible with this if you remove these two how many attributes are remaining n minus 2 therefore 2 power n minus 2 super keys are possible what about this if i remove these two 2 power n minus 2 then what about this you have to remove all those four if i remove all those four how many will be remaining 2 power n minus 4 right if you want you can simplify it got it otherwise we can leave it that way okay now let us say uh, just uh, a, a slight modification to this let us say super key is equal to a1 a2 and a1 a3 then what will change in this if i have super key sorry a candidate key as a1 a2 and a1 a3 then what will change is 
this one first you find out all the super keys which are containing a1 a2 definitely and then find out all the super keys which will definitely include a1 a3 right and then you are supposed to find out all these super keys which contain you know all this so by mean by saying all this it is not actually four it is only three a1 a2 and a3 it's because a1 is repeated in both of them okay first of all can a1 be repeated in, in two uh, super keys sorry candidate keys it is possible right uh, because this one is not the superset of this one or this one is not the superset of this one therefore having them as the candidate keys is definitely possible right okay now let's see this i want to find out all these super keys first of all which are containing only a1 a2 i mean which will definitely contain a1 a2 then i get this then i'll find out all these super keys which contain a1 a3 i get this and now i have to subtract uh, you know which contains all this set of all super keys which contains all this right then what is that if i subtract this a1 a2 a3 right now what about this number we have to contain these two right so how many if i definitely include a1 a2 then how many attributes will be remaining n minus 2 attributes will be remaining and every attribute will be either included or not included therefore how many choices we have two choices right so this one contains 2 power n minus 2 plus this one contains 2 power n minus 2 minus this one contains you have to include all these three right n minus 3 because all these three are included and n minus 3 are remaining therefore this one got it right okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30 percent 40 percent but all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join the of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested, in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.